Hi, Sean here from PassFirstTime.ie, Ireland's online driving school. Welcome to the video. Thanks to everybody who watched the last video. And if you do find value in the videos, if they are helping you, I'd be greatly appreciative if you would like and subscribe to the channel as it really does help us. And I'm delighted to say that the channel is growing well. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed already. Right. Common question I get as a driving instructor in Ireland is how many mistakes can I make before I fail? Now, it's important you know this. I wouldn't be focused on it, to be honest, but it is important that you do know the details be behind the marking system for the test. So on your driving test in Ireland, there are three types of error, a grade one fault, a grade two and a grade three. A grade one is a minor fault. And <clears throat> to be honest, it has no bearing on your test. You can have a lot of minor faults. They just remind the examiner maybe you did something a little earlier on and if you repeat maybe that small error, then it could grow into a grade two error. A grade two error is a more serious fault or possibly uh, the repetition of faults. A grade three error then is the mistake nobody wants to make. We're all capable of a grade three error. It's a dangerous or potentially dangerous error uh, or a total disregard for traffic controls. Now, an example of that would be if you were to break a red light, if you were to drive out in front of a car at a roundabout, anything that is obviously dangerous, you can fail on. Now, uh, this is part one of a, a two part series. I'm going to look in more detail about the reasons behind test failure in the second part. Today, I'm giving you the, the details of the faults and how many of them you can have. And we take a brief look at the marking sheet. But in part two, we'll go into more detail about the types of faults you want to be watching out for or not making on your driving test. So there are the, the three types of fault, one, two and three. How many of them can you have before you fail? Now, one or more grade three faults. OK, so a grade three fault is a potentially dangerous error. Um, there is no way an examiner can give you a driving license if they feel you're dangerous. So once you make a grade three error, that's it. You won't know, but you might have a fair idea. Now, be very careful that you don't presume that you have failed, by the way. This is very common as well with driving tests, particularly on a first driving test, that people make a mistake and they feel themselves it was a grade three error but your examiner mightn't have felt that way. So that's a very good reason. And I tell all my students this, that you should keep going no matter what happens from start to finish and give your driving test 100% all of the way. And because remember, it is the examiner's decision and not yours. Now let's move on and we can have four or more of the same grade two area errors in the one area. Now I'm going to bring up the marking sheet just to let you see this. So the grade one is the green area. Grade two is this bluey area and grade three is the pink. We do not want to go into pink. So in grade two, if you go one, two, three, four, same error repeated, we'll say the top error here is position on the straight, uh, you will fail if you repeat that error more than three times, four times, you fail for that reason. Okay. So that's four of the same. Six or more uh, grade two faults under the same heading. So the same heading would be position, for instance, with stable position. And if you were to have six or more grade two faults in this area, that would lead to test failure. Or nine or more grade two faults overall. So completely throughout your marking sheet, if you were to have nine grade two errors in different areas of this marking sheet, then you would fail your driving test. Of course, it's not a marking sheet. Now, the examiners use um, an iPad, so they will be marking their iPad as they go along. But the marking system is the same. They, they still mark uh, for the same errors. And another tip is that a lot of people, if they see the examiner using the iPad, they feel that this is not going well or, or you know, this, this could be a uh, a failed driving test. Don't presume that because the examiner will have to use the iPad anyway. So again, don't become the examiner yourself. 
If the examiner is using the iPad, let him decide why he's using it and you don't decide. And it goes back to the same theory of trying your very best from start to finish. Because very often uh, you might make a few mistakes at the start uh, that the examiner could put down to nerves because it's very easy to see the difference between a mistake you make out of nerves as opposed to not knowing what you're doing. So make sure that you keep trying from start to finish no matter what happens. So let's review this Grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, fault. Grade 1, no bearing on the test. 2, different connotations as to how you could fail. And a grade 3, you really you really don't want or we don't want to talk about it. That's a dangerous or potentially dangerous mistake. In part 2 of this, we will go into detail about what a grade 1 fault is, examples of it, what a grade 2 fault, examples of that, and grade 3. So that is coming in the next video. Watch out for that over the next couple of days. In the meantime, safe driving and all the best with your driving test. Like and subscribe, please, to the YouTube channel. And if you want more information about the driving test, we have a pre-test course on our website at passfirsttime.ie.